subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Atlantic Puffin. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, this is a remote-controlled car. I can make the car move using this controller. I can make the car go round in circles. I can make the car drive in a figure eight. I can make the car drive really far away. And I can make it drive back again. It's a bird. Where did you come from? I've never seen a bird like this before. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Yes, I did, Leo. The bird you found is an Atlantic puffin. Atlantic puffins can be recognized by their colorful beaks. Like most birds, Atlantic puffins can fly. But they can also swim underwater using their wings and webbed feet. The Atlantic Puffin is a fast swimmer and can stay underwater for up to a minute. The Atlantic Puffin mostly eats small fish such as herring and sand eels. Atlantic Puffins can catch several small fish in one dive. They use their tongue to hold fish in their mouth so they leave their beaks free to catch even more fish. That's amazing! I've never seen such a bird before. Where does it come from? Atlantic puffins come from far up north. They live on sea coasts and islands around the Atlantic Ocean. More than half of the world's Atlantic puffins are found around Iceland. About 8 to 10 million puffins live there. That's a lot of puffins. So our puffin is a really long way from Iceland, and it's too hot for it to stay here. We should bring it back home. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Here we are. I don't see any puffin nests around here. Maybe we can find some below the cliff. Let me take a closer look. Whoa! Leo! Leo! Um, I could use some help, Katie. I can't reach you, Leo. Let me get a rope. Hang on. Oh, no! There's no rope in the jeep! Leo, I can't find a... rope? I have rope in my backpack, remember? Can you throw one end of the rope? I... I don't think so, Katie. One wrong move and I'll fall. Oh, no! What can we do now? <laughs> oh! Hi, Puffin! Thank you, Puffin. Now we can pull Leo up. Why don't you use the Jeep? That's much huh? easier. Great. Katie already had the same idea. Ranger Rocky. You should be more careful, Junior Ranger. Cliff edges can be unstable or very slippery, so stay away from them. Yeah, that wasn't very smart of me. Well, at least you're safe now, Leo. Yeah. Look! It's the Puffin's partner! We did it! We found the Puffin's nest! Great work, everyone! Hooray! We found an 
Atlantic puffin in our garden. We learned that Atlantic puffins return to the same nest every year to breed. So we went to Iceland to help the puffin find its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Marvelous Spatula Tale. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, Dad lent me his Polaroid camera. Let me take a photo of you. Ready? One, two, oh, what's that? A bee? No, it looks like a small bird. Look, it has two very long things attached to its tail. How interesting. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, pretty bird. So what did you find out about the bird? Hi, Leo. This special bird is called a marvelous spatula tail. A marvelous what? A marvelous spatula tail. See the two things on its tail? Those are long feathers that end in discs or spatules. Only the male bird has those two long tails. Oh, I see. The marvelous spatula tail is a hummingbird. The buzzing sound you heard is the humming sound made by the fast movements of the wings. Normal birds flap their wings up and down, but hummingbirds turn their wings in circles. This allows them to hover in midair and fly left, right, up, down, backwards, and even upside down. Marvelous spatula tails are only found in the forest edges of northern Peru a country in South America. Unfortunately, there aren't many of them left. That means we have to take this marvelous spatula tail home safely. Come and join us. Yeah, let's do that. See you downstairs. The spatula tail is not moving at all. Oh no, is it okay? Hmm, when hummingbirds can't find food, they go into a deep sleep. They do that to save energy. They use a lot of energy for flying, so they always need nectar from flowers. So the marvelous spatula tail is hungry, but there are no flowers with nectar in this place. Now the bird will starve to death. <laughs> Water? Thanks, Hero. But that won't be enough for the bird. It needs nectar, which has a lot of sugar in it. I think I have an idea. In some places, people put feeders in their garden and fill it with homemade nectar. So the hummingbirds always have food, even when there are no flowers around. We can use this bottle to make a feeder. Great idea, Katie. But how do you make nectar? Hello, Junior Rangers. The easiest way to make nectar is to dissolve some sugar in water. We have water, but where can we get sugar from? Here, have some of my sugar. Uh, thanks, Ranger Rocky. We can cut this bottle in half and use the bottom half to put the nectar in. Great idea, Katie. I'll take care of that. You got to be careful with scissors. There. I'll leave the rest to you, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Here is some sugar. Stir the water to dissolve the sugar. Here, Birdie, have some nectar. I hope it tastes good. It's working, Leo. It's drinking the nectar. Go get some nectar, Marvelous Spatula Tail. Look, it's a female Marvelous Spatula Tail. He is doing his dance.
once again. We did it! We found the home of the marvelous spatula tail. Great job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! a marvelous spatula tail in our garden. We learned that the marvelous spatula tail is a very special hummingbird and that its wings move really fast. So we took it back home where there are a lot of flowers to feed from. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The white-bellied sea eagle. Look, Hero, I have a new kite. Oh, hello. My name is Leo, and I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's fly the kite together. It'll be fun. We'll fly it high in the sky. We have to look for an open space to fly. Hey, look, there is another kite in the sky. Let's go and see who is there. Maybe we can fly our kites together. Hey, where did it go? It was just here a moment ago. <coughs> what is it, Hero? Did you find the kite? Whoa, that's not a kite. It's a bird. <coughs> I wonder what kind of bird it is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look over here, birdie. Hi, Katie. What have you got? You're here just in time, Leo. This bird is a sea eagle. There are eight types of sea eagles in the world, and the one you found is a white-bellied sea eagle. It has a dark-colored back and wings, but its head, belly, and tail are white. That's how you can tell it's a white-bellied sea eagle. I see. Where did it come from? White-bellied sea eagles are found in India and Sri Lanka, through Southeast Asia to Australia. They breed and hunt near water. White-bellied sea eagles eat sea animals like fish, turtles, and sea snakes. They also eat small birds and mammals. Well, it definitely does not belong in our garden. We should take it to a place where it can find food. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. The coastline is further ahead, but this river is also a large body of water. Do you think there are other white-bellied sea eagles here? We should look out for them. What is it, Hero? Hey, there's a large bird up there. Do you think it is our eagle's partner? <laughs> I'm not sure, Leo. They sound different. Oh no, it looks like they're fighting. Hello, Junior Rangers. Have you found a large body of water yet? We found a river ranger, Rocky, but we also found a large bird. The sea eagle and the new bird are fighting. Oh my, what does this new bird look like? It looks a lot like our sea eagle, but this bird has a brown stripe over its eyes. The new bird sounds like an osprey. They also live near water to feed on fish. You must have entered its space. So they both like to eat fish. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. I have an idea. These birds look hungry, so let's find some fish for them. This looks like a good spot. Hero, you're first. <laughs> now we just need to wait for Hero. Here he is! Hey, bird! 
cards. There's enough for everybody. It's the coast. We made it. We did it! We found the white-bellied sea eagle's partner! Nice work, everyone! Yay! Yay! We found a white-bellied sea eagle in our garden! We learned that white-bellied sea eagles live near water and that they will stay with their partner for the rest of their life. So we went to the coastline and brought it back to its partner. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The white-bellied woodpecker. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, is that a bone you have? <laughs> Do you know what Hero is doing? That's right. He dug a hole to bury his bone to save it for later. What's that sound? Hero, I don't think it comes from your bone. Do you hear it too? Let's go find out. It's a bird, and it's making holes in the tree. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, bird. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the bird. Here we go. It's a woodpecker, and this one is a white-bellied woodpecker. The white-bellied woodpecker is one of the biggest woodpecker out there. A white-bellied woodpecker? So why does it keep tapping against the tree? The woodpecker makes holes in trees to get food. It eats the insects in the tree trunks. I see. But does that not damage the trees? Some woodpeckers eat sap from the trees, which can damage those trees. But not the white-bellied woodpecker. It eats insects that might be harmful to the trees, so it keeps the trees healthy. I see. What a helpful bird. Where does it come from? White-bellied woodpeckers can be found in the tropical forests of Asia and Southeast Asia. By the way, the woodpecker you found is female. The male has a red mustache on the side of his cheeks, but females don't. Well, let's take her back to the forest where there are more trees for her to get food from. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. I'm hungry. It's a good thing we always pack some sandwiches. Catch, Hero! Better be careful, Leo. You might attract wild animals with your food. Wait, do you hear that? Leo, look! It's wasps! Oh no! My food must have attracted them! They're coming closer! Throw my sandwich away. Perhaps they'll go after it. Now let's run! Oh no! Some of the wasps are still following us! Wow! Ah! The 
woodpecker is eating the wasps. We should give her the space she needs. Let's take out our propellers. <laughs> Do you think it's safe to go down now? I think it is, Katie. Let's have a look. There you are, Woodpecker. Do you think you had enough to eat? I think I had enough to eat, too. We did it! We found the family of our white-bellied Woodpecker. Hooray! We found a white-bellied woodpecker in our garden. We learned that a white-bellied woodpecker pecks holes in trees to eat the insects in it. The woodpecker belongs to a place with many trees, so we returned her to her real home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The barn owl. Everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy Hero. Look what I got from Grandpa and Grandma. It's a toy that makes animal sounds like so. <laughs> that was the sound of a dog. See, if I press a button, a sound appears. Do you know which animal this sound belongs to? <laughs> That's right. It belongs to an owl. An owl makes a hooting sound. <laughs> oh, what's that scary sound? <laughs> it's up there. <laughs> hey, it looks like an owl. But it doesn't sound like the owl from my toy. <laughs> you know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So, why does this owl not hoot? Hi, Leo. Well, not all owls sound the same. And this owl is a barn owl. A barn owl. I see. So, a barn owl communicates in a different way than other owls. That's right. But like most owls, barn owls are nocturnal, which means they are active during the night. How can they hunt when they are so loud? Of course barn owls don't call when they hunt. They also have fine, soft feathers that help them fly silently when they hunt their prey. This makes barn owls very quiet and great hunters. However, adult barn owls returning to their nest may sometimes call out to their young. Wow! So what do barn owls eat? Barn owls eat different small animals, such as mice, rats, birds, and fish. I see. Where can they be found? Except for Antarctica, these birds can be found almost anywhere in the world. They are often called barn owls because they are commonly found in barns. But these owls can live in other places, such as grasslands and forest edges. Hmm. I think the garden is no place for the barn owl to live. It needs a better place to hunt. We should bring it back to its home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the owl would love that. Let's go. need to cross this water. The barn owl's home should be on the other side. It must be happy to be so close to home. Hey, wait for us, little friend. 
How do we cross this water? It's a small bridge. Great. What was that? It's the barn owl. It sounds like it's in trouble. We have to hurry. Over there. It's stuck. Oh no. Let's free it. Hold still, little friend. I'm only trying to help. It's the net. The barn owl is afraid of it. We should try to take its attention away from the net to calm it down. Let's try this. It's the animal sound toy. You brought it with you. Here, little friend. Listen to this. <coughs> and it's off. Phew. Great job, everyone. <coughs> we did it. We found the barn owl's home. Great job, everybody. Yay! Hooray! Today, we found a barn owl in our garden. We learned that the barn owl is an excellent hunter at night and that it likes to live in places like tree holes. So we went to the grassland and brought it back home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.